Blanc put it away. Christian Blanc. Have a look at this again. It is very, very clever. There's the push away we spoke of. Helgers, Blanc, and no hope at all on the back line for Sukjit, with the goalkeeper already beaten. So 17 and a half minutes into this game, Germany go 1-0 up. Oh, Carsten Fischer. And isn't he happy? Yes, they're happy. That, they, they deserve the second goal. 14 minutes into the second half. Didn't hit the ball off the off the stationary stop at the top of the circle. The ball was just rolled slightly forward, shuffled his feet, knocked it forward, and found the gap. In fact, it went straight underneath the goalkeeper. The goalkeeper should have been down by that. Certainly should have. Klaus Mitchell to push the ball out from the back line. Fisher, crack. Oh, yes. Well, the first save from Ashish was wonderful, but uh, he just couldn't do it twice. I think you'll find the ball went over, just over him or just underneath, him, underneath it. Stefan Tevers, only about his third touch in the game, and he would be wrapped. Yes. Here is again from the other angle. He absolutely rockets this. So very precise, this German outfit, well and truly reflecting their top seeding in this tournament. Keller, who's been best on ground this afternoon for mine. And mine, been absolutely brilliant. Salager, Tevers. Oh, oh that was almost Didn't touch it. the worst mistake <laughs> that Ashish could possibly have made. And there is the full-time hooter. So Germany quite worthy winners. It could well have been 4-0 in that last 10 seconds. As it turns out, it is three goals to nil. Goals from Christian Blunk in the 17th minute of the first half on a penalty corner variation. From Carsten Fischer on a direct penalty corner shot 14 minutes into the second half. And from Stefan Tevers 26 minutes into the second half following up one of Fischer's penalty corner strokes. And Richard, uh, certainly Germany, the form team.